Wednesday, 24th week after Pentecost, evening meditation, November 18th, 2020. Meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings for Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, First Choices Teacher in Moral Theology. Act of Faith in the Presence of God, No One Apatri, Fili, Spiritu Sancti, Amen. Most holy, adorable, and undivided Trinity, one God in three persons, I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility and render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront. One Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, and one heaven to win. Act of humility. Litany of humility, O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, Deliver me, Jesus, from the desire of being praised. Deliver me, Jesus, from the desire of being preferred to others. Deliver me, Jesus, from the desire of being consulted. Deliver me, Jesus, from the desire of being approved. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being humiliated. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being despised. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of suffering rebukes. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being calumniated. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being forgotten. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being ridiculed. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being wronged. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being suspected. Deliver me, Jesus, that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire that others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire that others, that in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire that others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. That others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance. In this, our evening meditation, through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever virgin, Ave Maria, gratia, upon dominus tecum, benedicta tu in malieribus, benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mata Dei, or Pinobis Peccatoribus, Nuke Nihor Mortis Nostre. Amen. In honor of St. Joseph, our guardian angel and all the saints, we pray, Gloria Patri, Filio, Spiritus Sancto, Secret Eret in Principio, Nuke et Semper, and Secula, Secularum. Amen. <clears throat> Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful, by the light of the Holy Ghost, grant that same spirit that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Evening meditation, prayer, its necessity and efficacy. <coughs> we must all be persuaded that we cannot perform any good action without the actual graces of God. But the Lord declares that these graces he gives only to those who ask them of him. Quote, ask and it shall be given to you. Matthew 7, verse 7. He then says, St. Teresa, who does not ask, he then, he then says, St. Teresa, who does not ask, will not receive. For adults, prayer is necessary as a matter of strict precept. Quote, we ought to say, we ought, says Jesus Christ, always to pray. Luke 18, verse 1. Quote, pray that you enter not into temptation. Mark fourteen thirty eight, Ask and you shall receive. John 16, verse 24. The words, quote, we ought to pray at ask, unquote, according to St. Thomas and the generality of theologians, imply a strict precept that binds under pain of grievous sin. Quote, every man, says the angelic doctor, is bound to pray because he is bound to procure spiritual goods which cannot be obtained unless they are asked, unquote. A person is obliged to pray, particularly in three cases, when he finds himself in the state of sin, 
when he is in danger of death, when he is assailed by any violent temptation. Prayer is necessary not only as a matter of strict precept, but according to St. Basil, St. Augustine, and others, it is also necessary as a means of salvation, without which it is absolutely impossible for us to preserve ourselves in the grace of God and to be saved. Quote, it is simply impossible, says St. John Chrysostom, without the aid of prayer to lead a virtuous life. Unquote. The angelic doctor teaches that, quote, after baptism, continual prayer is necessary for a man in order to enter heaven, unquote. Because, as a saint, though sins are canceled by baptism, we still have temptations to conquer, which shall not have, we shall not have strength to overcome without prayer. Hence, he says in another place, quote, after a person is justified by grace, he requires to ask of God the gift of perseverance, that he may be preserved from evil to the end of life. Unquote. To understand the reason of this doctrine, it is necessary to know first that without special aid from God, we cannot continue for a long time in his grace without falling into mortal sin. For we have so many enemies that continually combat against us. And we are at the same time so weak that if God does not assist us with special helps, or if he gives us only the common graces given to all, we shall not have strength to resist. This is even a dogma of faith, defined by the Council of Trent in the following words, quote, If anyone shall say that a person who has been justified can, without special aid from God, preserve in the justice which he has received, or cannot preserve with such aid, let him be an anthema, unquote. It is necessary to know also that this special aid to persevere in grace is given, at least ordinarily speaking, only to those who ask it. Quote, it is evident, says St. Augustine, that God gives, even to those who do not pray, some gifts, such as the beginning of faith, and that he prepares other graces, such as perseverance to the end, only for those who ask them. Unquote. From all that has been said, we must conclude that prayer is strictly necessary for the attainment of salvation. All the reprobate have been damned in consequence of their neglect of prayer. Had they prayed, they would have not been lost. And the saints have become saints by prayer. Had they neglected prayer, they would not have become saints and could not have been saved. We must be persuaded as St. John Chrysostom says, that to neglect prayer and to lose the life of the soul, the grace of God, are one and the same thing. Lord, assist me and hasten to my aid, for if thou delay thy assistance, I shall fall and lose thy grace. If we pray, then we shall be certainly saved. If we neglect to pray, we shall be certainly lost. Consider the efficacy of holy prayer. Quote, Prayer, though one can do all things, says, quote, unquote, says Theodoret, he who prays obtains whatsoever he wishes. And in this it appears to me that God displays the immense love he bears us and his ardent desire to promote our welfare. What greater love can a person show to a friend than to say to him, friend, ask what you wish from me, and I will grant your petition. This God says to each of us, quote, ask, and it shall be given you. Luke Nine, uh, 11, verse 9. He makes no exception. Quote, you shall ask whatever you will and shall be done unto you. John 15, verse 7. He tells us to ask whatsoever we desire and promises that our prayer should be heard. St. John Comacus asserts that prayer is so powerful before God that it, that it, as it were, as it were, constrains him to give us all the graces we ask. Devout prayer does violence to God. We are, as David says, Poor mendicants, quote, but I am a beggar and poor, Psalm 39, verse 18. But to be rich depends on ourselves. Let's ask graces of God, and they will be given us. Let's ask them frequently, and they will be poured out upon us abundantly. David blessed the Lord in a special manner for his goodness, and always uniting his mercy to our prayers. Quote, Blessed be the God who has not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me, Psalm 65, verse 20. St. Augustine explains this passage in these words, quote, 
When you see that your prayer has not been turned away, be assured that the mercy of God is not turned away from you. Unquote. When you see that you pray, be certain that the divine mercy will not fail to assist you. And St. John Chrysostom says that when we pray, the Lord hears us before the conclusion of our prayer. For, for this, we have even God's own promise. Quote, As they are yet speaking, I will hear. Isaiah 65, verse 24. Concluding prayer, I give thee thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will that I may, in uniformity with your divine will, O triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well. For love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life and rule of life, now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that, although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee, and I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee, and why should I delay, that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and grateful as I've been even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance in thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory, and for all poor sinners, particularly myself. In nomine Patri, Filii, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Have a blessed evening, O slaves of Mary.